Well, let's get started! It's a pretty simple interface, you just uh, follow the hand. Hope you're ready, there's gonna be a lot of puzzles in the first video. The dining room. Look, six chairs. Seven chairs. I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. <laughs> oh, I've tasted better fare. At least he left his regrets. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. I, uh, I don't know. Uh... Oh, it says that we're each to have a piece. Exactly the same, including the symbols. What? That's impossible! It is not impossible, my dear. It's the first puzzle. Look, it's a throbbing brain. Well then. It's the first one, so I'll explain a bit how this point system will work. Um, yeah, it's kind of easy. First, I'm gonna give you a chance to solve it yourself. Then, if you wait a bit longer, I'll give a hint. And after that, I'll just solve it entirely. So, let's get started. If you want to solve this puzzle on your own... Uh, wait, I haven't given the instructions yet. Ah, uh, my apologies. Uh, it's a 5x6 square, square, and you're supposed to cut out 6 pieces, that means each piece is 5 squares, and in each piece there must be 2 skulls, 2 tombstones, and 1 blank square. Right? Okay. Ready? First, if you want to solve this puzzle, without a hint, pause now. If you want to solve this puzzle with a hint, look and see that this is the first piece. Two skulls, two stones. The rest is just icing. Some cannot be created more equal than others. There you go. That's the hint I give. If you're still clueless, then I will solve the puzzle for real in a sec. Okay, here we go. This music scared the crap out of me when I was little. It kinda still does. It's just so eerie. If there is a possibility that there's more than one solution to this puzzle. There. If you solve this on your own, then you get a point. So if you did, write it down. Keep score. Just for fun. Don't worry, I won't bite. Edward, we could help each other out. 
I could help you, and you could help me. Come and talk in my bedroom upstairs, where it's nice and private. Yeah. And room done. See, the hand is prohibiting you to try again. There's only one puzzle in each room. So once you clear a puzzle, you can just leave the room and... Unless there's a, another door, you can just leave it. So we're done in the dining room here. On to the next one. Right here. Into the kitchen. And this little scene here. Yes, this is it. No, it isn't. I still. Is there one more scene? Yes. When all the seven guests have gathered, you must figure out what I want. It's a puzzle, Mrs. Knox. And mind you, the others are also working at the same task. <laughs> it may all depend on who has the greatest need, or who is the bravest. There are clues throughout this house as to what must be done. The house is alive with clues. Hoping to meet you in the flesh. I remain mean, you your host, Henry Snuff. Creepy much? This is only the tip of the iceberg. Next puzzle! Look at all the cans. Here's food for thought. Be warned though. Your mind will be gorged before this night is done. <laughs> I hope you can hear it. A lot of the talking in this game is a little low, or at least uh, low in volume. You have to uh, make a sentence here with only using Y's as, vo as vowels. You'll think it's impossible, but nope, you can actually make a sentence with this. Okay, here we go again. If you think you can solve this without a hint, pause now. Okay, if you want a little hint, the last three words spell by my crypt. If you think you can solve it now, pause it. Okay, let's solve this thing for real. There's more to these cans than meets the eye. I spelled it wrong there. Should be an M there. I'm pretty good in English, but I do not know all the words. So if you could tell me what this exactly means, then be my guest. Uh. 
I don't think you can do this. But the dish. The amount of horror in this game in the beginning is fairly low, but there are some very creepy scenes coming up later. It's not flying limbs scary, it's just unsettling eerie. Uh, there's supposed to be an L there. Yes, and then this word, I don't know what it is. And this word I do not know either. Almost done. So it spells shy, gypsy, slyly, spryly, triced, by my crypt. Yes. Whatever that is. We did, but meh. You could go in here, but we won't. Not yet. We miss a vital clue. Cutscene again. I'm gonna show you all of them. Talking soup. That's all we need. I'm going upstairs to the next puzzle, but I'll have to stop there since it's almost out of time. No way, I don't have to go upstairs. There's a puzzle here still. But I'll have to stop there. Man, time flies. But all the more fun, right? And one more cutscene, I think, here. Yeah. My dear Mr. Dutton, welcome to my house. The arrangement is simple. You are to spend the night as my guest. And in exchange, I will give you your heart's most secret desire. And you know what that is, Mr. Dutton. I require one thing of you, a special service, a task that I've set up for you. There's a guest who hasn't arrived yet. A guest unlike the six of you, a very special guest. Your services involve that guest. You must wonder what that service is, but that is the game, Mr. Dutton. The puzzle I've set for you. This is all I can tell you, Mr. Dutton. In the morning, only one of my guests will walk out of this house with his or her every wish granted. 